All right, my friend Livy asks, how do you darken your sketches after you scan them with Photoshop? I know she has Photoshop CS3, and I have Photoshop CS3 Extended Edition, I guess it's called, or whatever. Uh, so, there it is, and I already opened it, so I wouldn't have to wait forever to have it load. So what you're going to do is you're going to open Photoshop, and here we got a new, we got one we already I, I darkened already in a previous one. Okay, so first of all, when you open Photoshop, you get a blank one. I'll just do that. I'll just make a new one here. Yeah, I don't know why I'm singing. Is it boring? Okay, we got a blank thing, my Bob, and we're just gonna click File to open. Up here. <laughs> All right. So my scans folder, I got some scans, and we'll just use my one I sketched of. Of uh, Prince John, I think it was sucking his thumb famously from that movie. All right, hold on. All right, here we see the undarkened sketch that I just scanned, freshly scanned. This has not been altered at all. I just had to fix the other one because the other one was the one that I already um, made up darkened. So I'm gonna show you how to darken it. First off, over here in this side, we got your levels and layers or whatever it's called. Yeah, layers. Below that, we got this little half shade moon type sun thing, with Bob. It says create new fill or adjustment layer. Click that thing, and you get a pop menu here. Yeah, menu. Just click on levels dot dot dot, and then you get the dialog box. And in that dialog is where the magic happens. Right here. You want to click and drag this black slider. None of the other ones, just this black one, I've noticed it works. Now watch my sketch. Darken a little bit. The lines will darken. There we are. It's darkened. And darken some more. It'll darken. We darken this too much, it'll look pretty bad. So don't go too far. I usually maybe put it right about here, but if you go too far, this little shading because my sketch paper will go um, over the side of the scanner's window thing and it'll make the little dark thing. So I leave you leave it right here. Just click OK. Click File to Save As and make sure you're saving it as a new somewhere else and not over your original scan in case you want to modify that or something. And make sure you save it as a JPEG. And that's how you do that. And I hope that helped everyone and Libby.